In this video, we are going to build sticky bar menu with responsive side design. I have made a sample here, which is as we scroll the page, the content scrolls below, scrolls below of the menu top menu bar here, and as you see our menu here, it will stays on top of the browser. Let's go and build this with responsive side design. All right, first thing first here, I'm going to add background color for this grid. Select the row. Sorry, I'm going to add background color for row. Select the row. Then in design pan, background color. Yes. Okay, I'm going to add this background color. And here I'm going to add a container. Uh, before I move that, let me I give a class for this row. I'm going to give class of nav row. Nav row. I'm going to give a tag of nav tag. Right then, I'm going to add container into the this column. Inside the container here, I'm going to add ul link element. Okay, let me uh, edit this text. Then I come back. I, I just edit the text here and I'm going to give a style to them for the ul link I'm going to give uh, list type none all right then positions I'm oh, sorry the I think it is positions yes display as a blocked okay then we go to the list item themselves Select the one of the list item, and in class you select a type. This applies in uh, style globally to all of these menu items. I'm going to give color white, then color text maybe sixteen pixel, then transform none and decoration none as well. All right, that's good for now. Then I'm going to float them right. All right, then from the dimension, I'm going to give, let's say, 20 pixel, oops, 20, 20 pixel left and 20 pixel right. All right. You need to center them. Usually what I do, centering them vertically here, in the container here, for the container I use as a table, all right, for UL list, UL link, I select them as, display them as table cell. Table cell. Then, I select them in the middle, overflow in the middle. This is centers vertically into the column. I'm not using Flexbox for this one. All right, then maybe for the container, I'm going to reduce to, let's say, 70 or 80. Then the container itself, I float it to right. Right, we have done with our menu here, top bar menu here. Then I'm going to add another row here in this column. Uh, let me change the background first. For this row, selecting row, second row, I'm going to give background color 
this color then I'm going to add container into it for the container I'm going to give width of width of maybe 70 percent then center it by auto margin this centers horizontally then I'm going to add some text into it so we have some content okay for this content I'm going to select color white now for the column maybe I'm going to increase 250 or maybe 350 and I need to center this as well so for the column I'm going to display as table display as table and for container table cell this again we can center it vertically table cell oh we lose the percentage there then I'm going to the middle this is again centers vertically so maybe here we can play with the pixel min width max width with the container for the container max width maybe select 700 oh no it's not working for so what I can do here maybe undo here and maybe for the text percentage I will go for 70 percent then I'm going to center it all right <clears throat> so now I'm going to apply fix for the top bar here I'm selecting the row okay selecting row and going to give a position of position fixed now let me zoom out the canvas so you see what happens here as I give a position fix to this as you see here is our navbar is bleeding and this our second row it goes under this uh, first row so there's few way to fix it so for this one I'm going to give right now our width is we have to find is our height is height is minimum height is 50 pixel so maybe I can give for this 50 pixel margin to oops not the row okay I have to give the not the container uh, to this row second row our second row second row selected and in design pen I'm going to give 50 pixel uh, margin this will bring it down and for this row for the first row for the first row okay for the first row I'm going to Ah, oh, see I have a problem here this row is not selecting so I have to go back to 100% select this row then reduce then go back to design pen as we fix here position fixed then I apply 0 in front of the top the uh, right top we don't have to and from here this is uh, fix itself its positions and don't forget to apply z index for the top bar that which stays on above of 
all of the rows. Uh, let me set 999 on. So they apply the highest amount, highest amount of the Z index. So that ensures that our menu stays on top. So now I'm going to duplicate this. So we have some content to be able to see the screw effect. So select the row. I'm just going to select a row. Okay, select it. And I'm going to duplicate. Oh, we have some row, second row, second row. Oops. First row, the second row. Second row. I'm going to give second, and I do need to add margin here. So for this, I'm going to duplicate again. For this second row, I'm going to duplicate a few of them. So we have some content on the browser. So now let's we preview it in the browser. Here's because we had some extra pixel. So later we can fix this. Now if I scroll down, the menu stays on top and content scrolls below of this top bar. If I reduce the browser in size, we have perfectly top bar with scrolling effect. One more thing, if you need to add this top bar here, let me select and to extend the width of the all the wind uh, the browser, what we can do is select the row. select the row first row in design pen let me reduce you can see with the effect here is design row select maximum width none this will extend itself on the left and right of browser no matter how big your screen is Okay, that's it for this tutorial and hopefully is useful in your projects. Thank you for watching.